In this video, I'm going to show you how to use two cool tricks with blending modes and time adjustments to create some cool time difference blending effects. Here's one example on this footage, and here's another cool example where I've used it on a city skyline footage. So it's super easy to do. You're not going to make any mistakes. Let's get started. And all I'm going to do is duplicate this clip onto a layer on top of itself. So a simple shortcut to do that is hold option, click and drag. If you don't have that shortcut, just command C, command V works, or just dragging the same clip on top of itself. Now on this second clip, I'm going to want to create a time difference. So what I mean by that is just move it over a little bit. So it starts a little bit after the first instance of itself. And you could play around with this depending on how much movement is in your clip. If there's a lot of fast movement in your clip, you might want to make just a short couple frames. If there's not that much movement going on, then you can get away with longer time differences. And on the top of the, the second clip, you want to click it and go to the effect controls panel and under the blend mode, you can actually play around with a lot of different ones, but the one I'm going to be using is difference. So this is going to take a difference of the two clips. So normally if the clip was just no time difference, then you just get black because it's almost like a mathematically subtracting the video from exactly itself. But when we create the time difference, we're subtracting one part of the video from a different part of the video. And thus we're only getting this outline of different pixels. So it's actually really cool what's going on here mathematically. So we can just let it run like this. What I did in the intro example was I actually created cuts so that the effect would only flash on and off like whenever there was a kick or movement happening. So it could be like a cool flash impact effect. Or another cool trick that I experimented with was adding a third layer on top. So just copy and pasting once again and making sure that the third layer is also on different blending mode. So now we're sort of getting the inverse effect where we're putting the time difference on top of the original video again. So it's not so black in the background, but you can use a mix of these different things and you can basically play around with this as much as you like. Here's the same idea on another example clip. So this one, there's a lot less movement, but we get this cool effect where because the drone footage is moving slightly, we get an outline of the city, but since the cars are moving fast and the water ripples are moving fast, it's like a cool little mix. Maybe this could be interesting for a title screen or something like that. My name is Justin Odisho. If you enjoy this video, you can subscribe to my channel to stay tuned for all my future videos. And you can check out hundreds of other more cool effects and ideas like this in the playlist on my channel. So check one of those out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.